Hello friends, it's Anna from Hoa, from Kotwa. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a post request in Google Studio uh, by using the library Retrofit. Uh, the language which you're using is Kotlin. So let's get started. So friends, first of all, the first step is to add dependencies in our Android Studio project. I have given dependencies in the description box. box you can get from here. Okay, add dependencies. Uh, and the next step would be to add internet permission uh, which we use to access the internet use this permission internet that's it uh, we have done with this step number one uh, and step number two is figure out the difference between sending and receiving a response uh, so friends uh, the, the problem which a lot of people face is that uh, send different type of response and the server uh, send different type of uh, response listen to different type of request and the server send different type of uh, response uh, and uh, because of this problem uh, the error of uh, null object return uh, came across so uh, to avoid that error let's look at our API uh, in my case I am using this API which is sending and receiving same type of response the every type of response or the request I can make but the response will be of same type of every time so uh, this is the response of my API let's copy this response control C and go back to inverse studio right click and create a model class if your server uh, is taking different type of request and receiving different type of response then you have to make two, uh, two model classes uh, and in my case I'm creating this one but, uh, no. new content class from JSON response control format I want this is my response class This is my response to us. So, as you can see, uh, it's returning a string message. Let's create a request class. Content class. I will create a class. Request. Just define another attribute. My model for username. My username, which is and next with answer. Oh, I haven't seen my model. Let's see. Wait for the reverse to complete this process uh, now this is the time to create an interface for our API content class the type of interface and I will give it the API interface API interface uh, here we have to define a function uh, to request the server so uh, I will write on Login uh, and it will take at the red body parameter. At the red body, and uh, now we have to define our model class on the behalf of which we are requesting server. So, mine is request model, and it will return call. Our response class because our response will be this response class. Uh, the final step would be to annotate it with at the rate post because we are using post API. Post 
post now uh, pass our endpoints here as strings so in my case slash api dot v1 slash create is my endpoint let's put it here in the strings and uh, we have done with our interface now uh, let's move forward to build my utils class We are creating an object class here um, because we don't want to create instance every time we use its methods. So what's happening here? Uh, we have created a client to make a request. We have created an uh, instance of retrofit to get the JSON response and convert that JSON response uh, into a utility file and in this method we are building a service. So uh, let's move forward to step number 3. Now we have to connect both service builder and API interface in the main activity. So for that we have to Let's 
seen both doors glasses. Thank you.